a big challenge is to feed a, a, a population that's growing up to you know nine billion plus people by 2050 or whatever the stat is. And we've all heard it a million different times, and there's a whole generation of us now who realize that the best way to feed a billion people is to by making millions of people farmers. What's really interesting, what excites me a lot, is you know uh, creating something that makes it a viable option and makes it attractive for the next generation of farmers to, to enter and, and say, you know what, I'm going to be a farmer and I'm going to be proud of it and I'm going to be successful. I'm really optimistic about humankind's ability to become more balanced with the planet and the resources on the planet. Uh, but one step further from that, I think, we will see in our lifetime uh, mankind becoming self-sufficient. So technology really provides us with those tools to leapfrog infrastructure, to, to look beyond the industry of agriculture that has been progressing very linearly. Uh, we are now able to uh, create new dynamic conversations around food, uh, new experiences that we can design catered toward a more intelligent food system, a smarter food system, and a more connected food system. Any of us eat food from all around the world and are very used to that, uh, finding ways to source that locally and create uh, local production for things that only exist in certain parts of the world is a huge opportunity. Uh, it plays a big part in food security, plays a big part in economic development around food. We're making a call and we're making a decision every single time we eat and that consumer demand is driving different institutions to do things differently. You, know, look, at, you look at the restaurants that constantly are trying to find more ways to prove that you know, they are sustainably sourcing. It's gotten to the point where people are actually asking, okay, that's all great, but where is the actual core of my meal, this food? Where is it coming from? How is it grown? Who grows it? So this, this, this move towards, we have an herb garden in our restaurant. You know, we're growing right here on site. At first, something that in a lot of ways started as a gimmick has really spawned into sparking a fire in the consumer base to say, that's great, but I want to know where everything is grown. I want you to tell me the full story, not just part of the story. And we've seen you know, a number of different restaurants and institutions that have said, we want to tell that story. There's so much attention going to food tech now, we can actually see in the next five years if we have a chance to uh, combat the climate change issues we're seeing and with the rising drought, uh, food insecurity. Some of these initiatives that we're putting in place now will actually see pay off. So it's really exciting to be part of uh, an upcoming community of entrepreneurs and designers looking to tackle a problem that we're all going to see the result of.